Alpert, and I'm here with the Baseline Protocol team. I've got Kale Teeter from Microsoft on, and he's going to take us through the Gitcoin Hackathon challenge that we're calling XL's code name is XL. And Kale's going to tell you all about it and how you can compete and win the $1,000 bounty that is on that challenge between December 9th, 2020 and uh, January 6th, 2021. Kale, how's it going? Everything's awesome. And Excel is, we're talking about Microsoft Excel, not the size of my pants with Excel. <laughs> not, not, not XL. <laughs> yeah, that was a good joke. That was good. Um, yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, so uh, Microsoft can bring the funny. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Microsoft Excel, what, what's, the, what's the idea behind this and how can people uh, get up, and up to speed quickly? Yeah, so if you take a look, I'm sharing my screen right now. We have a, an issue up here that will be used for the uh, Gitcoin Hackathon. And essentially, this is a persistence package using um, an already established kind of provider implementation. Um, so most of the base is already kind of built here as part of the baseline uh, protocol. And you can essentially, uh, what we're looking to is hook up native Excel. So we're not talking about CSVs or text file kind of stuff because Excel can render all kinds of stuff. What we want to build is an add-in into Excel. So when you're in Excel, let me just pop it for a second here. When you open up Excel and you go to like this data tab, uh, there's ways for you to interact with uh, other things like databases and things like that. So you can imagine this would be connected to uh, baseline or blockchain through here. Uh, this is kind of the core idea here as a persistence layer to both provide um, you know, writes and reads back and forth right between this kind of thing. And, so and this is be, this would be cool, Kale, right? Be, why? Because small companies uh, that that even you know the largest companies in the world work with tiny companies that may be working their their records on spreadsheets, not even on something like Dynamics, right? So, uh, being able to have a company working on a spreadsheet be able to baseline a row in their table with, um, say, Dynamics uh, would uh, increase the reduce the the risk of counterparty uh, mistakes and, and uh, shenanigans, right? Yeah, I mean, the idea is like, you know, people use the tools that they use to run their business. Uh, Excel, as you mentioned, like even not just with small companies, like massive companies use Excel for very important things in their business. So Excel to me is almost like a UI you know, for, for how users interact with stuff. So we're just basically making a backend uh, for Excel that allows it to use uh, the blockchain. So the, the user's not as, you know, has to be blockchain savvy in order to use this. They can just use Excel like they did today. Uh, it might be connecting to something slightly different, but that doesn't really matter. Right now. So we okay, have- so um, this is the challenge. Yep, so we have the requirements listed out here. Um, some of the things that we're gonna, we put some related links in here uh, for to get you started to help uh, people and like what kind of skill sets am I going to need to do this? Uh, where am I going to you know put these kind of things? So if you look at the bottom here under the related documentation, you'll see that we have uh, one core link here to the Excel add-ins overview, which will basically take you out uh, to Excel um, and talk about like how you build these add-ins. So you can walk through that. Um, It'll, it'll walk you through everything from like creating one from scratch, all those kind of things. Essentially, we're gonna be talking to an API. So uh, we're just gonna use Excel to basically talk to an API and listen to events that are coming back off of another one. Um, that's it, uh, kind of in a nutshell. We have um, implementations of this uh, just to help you get started a little bit. So in the past, uh, and this is one of our Microsoft repos, we actually have one here using forms inside of, um, you know, the power platform and it's using Excel to basically uh, bi-directionally talk to a blockchain. So we can like write data over there and read data. So if you're looking for inspiration or like an implementation of how this has been done before, this actually, you can go use this right now, it works. Um, maybe not the exact implementation we're looking for here. And what I mean by that is this one's using logic apps and all kinds of external things to do that. What we want to do is take some of that stuff and just pack it into the add-in. So from an end user perspective, all they need is Excel and this add-in and some configuration, obviously, and then they're off to the races. They can use this thing. Right on. Thanks a lot. So, so that's, um, so after somebody's uh, developed, uh, under, figured out how to understand baselining and 
all that, right? So they're going to go to, you're going to go to baseline-protocol.org mm-hmm. and uh, get on the Slack channel. The Slack inviter is right there on the, on the website. And uh, there's a hashtag hackathon 2020 XL. And that's where uh, you'll be able to ask questions of people that are in you know, the judges and others uh, in, in the community. Also just come in and say hi to uh, on the general and people are really friendly in there. So uh, you can, you can get to know people and they can help you out. Um, so learn of course, why, what baselining is all about, why, why you want to baseline a, an Excel spreadsheet and, and uh, something else what that means, and then you'd be getting into this, right? Yep. And then where you can put your um, implementation, the other one I wanted to mention, uh, John brought this up, is if you go out here to this repo, we'll paste this link actually out in the issue, uh, which basically is under the BRI1 implementation. I'll bounce back really That's baseline quick. reference implementation, uh, by the way. Yep. So one of the uh, challenge requirements, you can see the solution works with the BRI1 reference implementation, replacing the memory uh, implementation provider. You can see out here, if you pop into baseline examples, BRI1 lib, again, we'll put the link out there. Uh, there's actually one here for Google Sheets right now uh, that works with, you know, SAP and Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, this has been created, you know, this year, earlier this year. But basically, you can look through this one, too. And this, again, can be like great inspiration because we're doing something very similar with Excel here. Uh, So you could use this as a um, thing to help you kind of build that as well. So I think there's a lot of good things here that are already been built. We kind of just got to, you know, form them a little bit differently for the Excel uh, add-in to make this work. Cool. So uh, those are pretty good resources, uh, Kale. What what, um, what do people need to know? uh, in terms of how to how to make sure that they get uh, a good submission, that they're judged well, um, and you know how do they kind of finish the finish the road? Yep. So obviously, make sure you're meeting all these challenge requirements. So keep an eye on those kind of things, uh, and make sure that it works with the BR1, BRI one implementation that we have over there. So those are two kind of main things. Like these are like definitely got to have those kind of things. And then um, what I've seen, you know, with other hackathons that we've done, the more whenever you implement this thing, like you provide like clear documentation, clear steps, making it uh, as friction, you know, less as possible. Uh, So as I mentioned before, once this thing's packaged and there's an add-in, this actually can be published to the marketplace for Office, you know, for free and everything. So people could use it. But basically what we want to do is get to the point where it's just like almost a single click for someone to install this uh, add-in. So the closer you can get to that, and I'm not saying you have to be 100% there, but the closer you can get to that, the better off you are of, of winning this challenge, right? Make Because the whole point is we want to give somebody who's less in tune or less technical with the blockchain to be able to use the environment they're familiar with, Excel, uh, to, to use baseline and, and baseline you know, uh, sheet in Excel. Right on. Kale, thanks a lot for the time. I know you're busy. I, I'm sure this is going to help people a lot. And uh, any last words? No, this is great. I look forward to the submissions. And uh, again, as John mentioned, I'll be uh, on the threads here. So if you have any questions, whether it be on the Excel side or the baseline side, any of that, feel free to jump in and uh, talk to us because we're here to help. Thanks again, Kale. And and by the way, everybody, more than the $1,000 um, bounty, there's also the fact that uh, if, you, if you're coming into this community, you're working with people like Kale and others who can really put your career ahead. Uh, getting noticed by these people is a good idea uh, for anybody. And uh, we love working with them. It's a great community. Come on in and uh, join the party. Thanks a lot. Thanks, John.